Hello YouTube, welcome uh, back at the Vagabond Studios, finally doing another lesson. It's been a while since the last one. Um, what I wanted to give you today was just a speed chop uh, that I think is pretty cool. I've straight up stolen it from Vinny Kalayuda. Um, again, it's probably another lesson that's not going to give you a major drumming epiphany. It's not going to change your outlook on drums, uh, I don't think. But uh, it's something that you might want to learn. I, I definitely did. So uh, the chop is this. So um, I think it's just a really cool uh, sounding flurry of drums or like a wall of drums just coming at you. It's pretty brutal sounding really. Um, but uh, yeah, Vinny pulled this out in the 1983 and 84 Zildjian Day clinics. Yeah, it's a drum nerd video. Um, so I highly recommend you watch those videos first before you continue with this lesson. But uh, yeah, let's get stuck in. There should be an image coming up right about now. Okay, so this is my shorthand way of writing out this chop or any other drum thing that I want to remember. I have the actual transcription, that'll come at the end, but I probably prefer to do it this way just because I think it's a bit easier to wrap your head around it. Uh, so you can see it has two lines to it. The top line gives you just the general sticking, which is the order of right, left, and bass drum strokes. And the second line gives you which drum is being hit when. So T1 and T2 stand for Tom 1, Tom 2. S stands for floor Tom, and I'll give you a million bucks if you can guess what the S stands for. I don't want to get too lost in the theory side of things. But uh, I would think of this chop in terms of 16th note triplets if I was to put it into a musical subdivision. So when you go to learn slash play this lick, you can try tackling it all at once if you want. I would recommend splitting it into halves just to make it a little bit more digestible if you're learning it for the first time. Um, there's two pretty different sections to this chop, which is what makes it cool in the first place. But, uh, but yeah, I would split it up into the first nine notes, which is the tom section of the chop. That sounds like this. I would just do that over and over again, uh, just to help some muscle memory develop. And, uh, and yeah, you want to be conscious of your power or your velocity when you're playing this. Um, if you can play this fast, but the tom sounds sort of weak and fluttery, it, it won't be as effective in my opinion. So really try and aim for the center of the drums. Play in a heavy but relaxed way so you're not tense or straining yourself. And uh, yeah, that should give you the best sound, I think. So for the last six notes, uh, they're all on the snare. Or oh, there's a bass drum at the end, but the rest, it's mainly on the snare. Um, the first first snare hit is a left hand accent. I use a rim shot just to get out the accent. Then the rest are just softer double strokes. So when you're learning it, again, do it really slow. Do it, do it like this. That kind of vibe. Uh, when you want to bring it up to speed, uh, I transition to rebound in my technique, at least uh, I do when I go to bring it up to speed. So that would look like this. So when you've got these two parts to where you're happy with them, you can try putting it together, but don't rush through it, still take things slow. Remember we're chasing the sound that Vinny made, who is an absolute monster. Uh, so if you're a regular mortal like me, uh, just take things slow, don't beat yourself up. Just make sure you're happy with the quality of the sound that you're producing. As far as my tips on learning this chop, that's about it. I will just say as a word of caution, be careful where you use something like this. It, like I said, it's a pretty brutal sounding chop, so it's not going to fit in everywhere. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago I was playing this acoustic pop rock uh, kind of gig at a hotel. And I didn't use this chop, but I used a similar sounding like big triplet kind of fill. 
we were playing like Sweet Home Alabama or something like that and there was this uh, older woman in the audience and she looked at me and she just went so I'm still playing and I'm, and I'm just thinking like oh, she doesn't like my triplets so uh, be careful where you use this um, uh, yeah it's not a toy so uh, yeah uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything that I haven't addressed just leave it in the comments and I'll try and get back to you uh, until then, I'll catch you later. We'll see you next time. Cheers.